on the monstrance at Latha was inscribed Pro Vita Mundi. For the life of the world. The monstrance is made to show, to show forth, monstrare. In French, ostensoir, that's even more forceful. An ostensation is a showing forth, a displaying. And in the monastic life, souls have always tended to understand the centrality of this small space in which the Saviour reigns over us and draws our attention. Years ago, there was a girl who was spending a lot of time in quiet prayer before the Blessed Sacrament at our monastery in Italy. And as sacristan, I was changing the sanctuary lamp, which was running out. And I whispered as I went from there, la tua vocazione è di essere questa lampada. Your vocation is to be this lamp. Eventually, she went to a house of prayer. When one is before the centre of the universe, things in the universe fit in. Alas, when that is not there, Everything is out of proportion. And people flee. Not long before dying of cancer, George Harrison was interviewed and this question of why they had got her involved with drugs came up and he did answer honestly. Life hurts and one seeks to numb the pain. The Lord in today's Gospel answering the request for a sign indicates that people are looking in the wrong area. And indeed he is giving more than the signs of old, even those provided by Moses himself. In the monastic life we have, in our own times, great authors. Unexpectedly, Thomas Burton has influenced millions of souls. And it, he does have this volume which has the title Bread in the Desert. The monastic life clears away the clutter and the eyes of the soul focus well. It is a free day not to be enslaved to the secondary, to the immediate the peripheral, to the noisy, and to be nourished by the power of the word, heard loud and clear, and by the encounter with the one who is the bread of life, the source of life. All the rest is a great distraction and a cause of further pain. Only men knew the damage they do to themselves by numbing the pain with 
to run. Sanctissimum Sacramento 